Good afternoon, everyone. That's Luther P40 back again. I'm trying to uh, redo the uh, simplified HHO meter, uh, the, the test procedure. Basically, I'm using the smaller bottle that I demonstrated in the other video. Uh, just to give you background, I've got 14.23 uh, volts feeding it uh, direct DC. You might hear the whine of the uh, battery charger in the background. It's, it's the battery charger and the battery are wired in uh, parallel with each other. It's giving me 14.22 volts. I got, uh, let's see, 9.9, uh, 9. that's half of that would be uh, four and a half. So almost five, uh, almost, uh, almost five amps out of this uh, test cell that I have here. Current temperature of it. It's been running probably for 15, 20 minutes now. It's up to 105.2 degrees. 105.2 degrees. I like playing this. Water temperature 78 degrees. 78 degrees. That's a uh, 41.0 centigrade. Raise up my stopwatch. I'm sitting there waiting. And basically, this is full of water. Uh, the little hole is is the lowest point when you're starting it up. And if you notice, the water is up in the tube, up to here. Don't fall down, please. And all I need to do is hook these two together. And then push my start over right there. Almost didn't leave myself enough time. I'm liking the small bottle because as the, as the buoyancy changes it wants to flop around in the tank so I have to keep making sure that hole like I said I want that bottom hole let me zoom in on it so my stopwatch Turn off my stopwatch when when the air pot, when the air starts coming out the little hole, out the vent hole. You know, all I'm doing now is just making sure, making sure it don't flop over at the last second. Get my stopwatch ready to go. I'm just waiting for the bubbles to come out the bottom. And all I'm doing when I've got my hands on it is just keeping it, keeping it in the angle I want. And then once you once you start bubbles coming out the bottom, you don't have any air, let water left in there. And it gives you a standard point, two points, where the gas starts, where the gas ends. That was a. Uh, uh, for anybody that's paying attention, it's a minute and 30 seconds to fill. Uh, I haven't actually measured this tank, but I'm wanting to say it's going to be somewhere in the vicinity of 400 milliliters. Not anything spectacular, but that's not the point. Like I said, the point is to... Uh, the point... The point is to demonstrate the way... The way... The suggested way of measuring a fluid... At least this way, at least this way, the, my, my thinking is that every time I do this test, it'll be exactly the same. So regardless of what, what kind of tank I put in here, if I put, if I put three tanks side by side, I'm, the only thing different with three tanks, I may have to use, I may have to use my, uh, the five, 500 milliliter bottle rather than the small one. One thing I noticed when I was messing with this in the last video is that when it's bigger than the, whatever bottle you got and when it's bigger than the tank, it wants to control itself. Almost this one did the same thing, so like I said, it's just a suggestion. Until I find a better way to measure it more reliably and more consistently, 
uh, I'm going to be doing it like this. So, anyways, I appreciate you t taking the time for uh, watching my videos, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.